All right, we're here. We made it. We made it. We're, we're outside of the theater. Yep, we're here to see the Batman. The Batman. The Batman. We are vengeance. Oh, I was hoping you weren't going to say that. I have to. He says it in the movie. I know, but like literally everyone is saying that. So well, I was going to try. Know, when we go see Scream, I got to say, What's your favorite scary movie? When we go see the Batman, I got to say, I am vengeance. I we're am not, the knight. I am Batman. We're not going to do Batman. like a Batman skit. No, I don't have a Batman mask. Oh, okay. Well. I don't have a Batman mask. But I'm excited. I'm just excited that I don't have to miss out on this, like, world event movie. Because right. I've already missed out on one last year. I still haven't seen Spider-Man. Right. But I'm not missing Who Batman. Yeah. Bat Batman is the superhero of my life. Probably the first superhero movie I ever saw was Batman 1989. So. Oh. All right. Didn't know I, that. I'm, I'm um, looking forward to this. I, I got to say, I was a little hesitant to you come, were. To come you were. see this. Um, not because, you know, I, I didn't care about it, um, but the runtime. I, I just get yeah. really turned off by those super long movies. It's hard yeah. for me to... Well, I'm not going to lie. I do, too. Unless I'm at home and I know I can break it up or yeah. something. So, uh, we found a time that worked. Uh, we're going to be rushing to get back to get our kids for sure, but we're here and yeah. uh, here's hoping it's good. Yeah, I'm just hoping to. I'm gonna keep my uh, my expectations are high, but I'm I'm trying not to yeah. keep them so high that I'm like, if it's not a masterpiece, right. all time great, I'm gonna be disappointed. Yeah, I'm just hoping for a good Batman movie. So, yeah. uh, heard good things. I'm excited. Right. Let's get in there. See what all right. it's all about. All right, so uh, we didn't just get out of the Batman. We're in the uh, school parking lot, getting ready to yep. pick up our son. We've had a good 30, 30 plus minutes to process what we just endured for yeah, three, yeah. three 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 hours long hours <laughs> <laughs> three hours yeah I, I did feel like the car ride helped uh put a few things in perspective for me okay um you, you want to go first i don't know how to feel about this movie I, i'm still i've got it's a it's a whole lot of movie yeah, it's a lot yeah. of movie so, it's a lot to process so let it be known that this is you know still first yeah. Very fresh, like, you know, reaction here. There's a lot. There's a lot here. And there's just so many interpretations of, like, Batman and what a Batman movie is supposed to be. Right. I grew up with the Tim Burton Batmans. I like the Dark Knight movies. This, uh, I don't know. This didn't uh, feel like what I thought a Batman movie should feel like. Yeah, this. And that's not a bad thing. If but, you're if you're looking for uh, an emo Batman, um, this is definitely is, your Batman. I, I'm telling, you, it's very dark very and it dark. is very grim, and there are almost zero moments of any kind of levity. It just right extremely dark the entire time. Yeah, uh, which people have been clamoring for for a very long time. They want like, the dark Batman. There is there is no fun to be had in this movie. No fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Well. If you, if you like seeing Batman beat the shit out of people, if you think that's fun, well, I which mean, I do, I don't mean that kind of fun. Yeah, there's it, just there's, there's there's just no, you know, like in some movies you get that little the little comedic break or yeah. Well, you're thinking of, you know the Marvel movies you just do that, but even with DC Suicide Squad, just had yeah. full on comedy. So yeah, there there's not. Do not expect any moments of happiness in this movie. There is <laughs> right. none. If Absolutely you, none. If you want to walk out feeling very doom and gloom. Yeah, and then... that's, uh, you know, that their Nirvana song was the, the cherry <laughs> on top. Right. I, don't, I don't know how it goes, but it was in the trailer when they first mm -hmm. came yeah. out. Um, I will say there are a few moments in this movie that I was like, holy shit, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to lie. My nipples got a little bit hard when the Batmobile first revved wow. up. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest. My George Clooney bat nipples got a little hard. See, I feel, uh, like, that was, I feel like that was a little anticlimactic because it like revved up. And, and then, then it, it, it like, kind of broke down. So like I, I don't know. I thought that out, was really like, cool because it's like, okay, he realist, maybe realistic. he built this himself or something. Right. Um, so it kind of stalled out and then it, it started up again. And I thought that whole chase sequence with him and the penguin was awesome. I mean, I, I will say that as far as the story, like the, the storyline goes of like kind of Batman evolving, like I think that they did a good job with that. Like me yeah. not even knowing you know very much about batman um you know we know that this was early on in his batman yes. uh career yes. if you will and so there were definitely a lot of moments or not a lot but a few moments where they made it 
known that he was still kind of new to this, like learning how to use different gadgets or, um, yeah. his inexperience showed in, in certain areas. I told you right. when he, um, there was a moment where I, I guess you could consider it maybe kind of comedic, but when he's using the, the bat wings or the bat cape or whatever he has to fly. Yeah. Uh, and you could tell that that was maybe the first time he'd ever used that. Right. Yeah. Uh, cause I, I compared it to when we were sitting there, I was like, this is like when Spider-Man's learned how to use his web. Right. Cause he like kind of falls down. He hits something and, and falls yeah, and rolls but on this, the ground. But even even that wasn't funny. Like it was just. A... It wasn't. I feel like in another movie it would have been like played for right. laughs, but it wasn't in this no, one because it's just, just so dark and grim. Right. He just wiped out and gets up and yeah. hobbles away. So if it was supposed to be funny, it, it wasn't. But <laughs> yeah, it, it's just uh, you know the Riddler's in this. You got Catwoman. You got Penguin. I don't feel like that's a spoiler. Um, but no. it goes into like the family history of Bruce Wayne, which I thought right. was interesting. Um, a lot and, of, a lot of riddles to be had. A lot of riddles. This is very much like you have Catwoman and Penguin in this movie, but this is the Riddler's movie. Um, as far as like who the main villain of the oh, film yeah, and Catwoman's sure. not really a villain at all. No. Um, I would say, but I don't know. I liked it. As for, you know, Robert Pattinson as Batman, I don't feel like we really got a lot of him as Bruce Wayne. And like you no. said, it was very emo Bruce Wayne. Um, yeah, I, you know, just like, you know, and by all means, like, I know that they're, they're probably like, who wants just a, a repeat of the other yeah. Batman movies? I get if they were trying to go for something different, that's fine. But like, when I think of like Bruce Wayne, I think of this kind of like sophisticated, uh, uh, very charismatic, char yeah, charismatic yeah. guy who has his shit together, who can like talk to a room. And yep. this was not, he was that not was, that kind that of, that was Michael Keaton. That was but Christian like Bale. We, like we talked about on the way home. Like, I think maybe going forward, this is him kind of evolving and maybe he will eventually turn into that kind of, you yeah. know, strong because they definitely set it up at the end. But yeah, so there's definitely a lot of potential. Um, but as far as me, you know, like I knew going into this that I, w I probably wasn't going to love this movie. And that's fine because I'm not like this big Batman yeah. fan or anything. Yeah, I didn't um, think it was going to be your type of movie. Yeah. And so it pretty much was what I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, it automatically gets points deducted for being so long. I, I personally just can't do it. It's really hard for me to do and that. I hate to say it. There's some people that are like, yeah, I think it needs to be. Th I, I don't think it needed to be three hours. Yeah. There's stuff you could easily cut out of this movie. Right. Um, I'm not going to say what I think or, you know, d don't think needs to be added in or kept in this movie or needs to be taken away. Yeah. It's not really for me to say. Yeah. Um, I feel like they could have cut at least a half hour off this movie. Yeah. It, it, it was... really didn't. Need. You, and to be honest, you really you felt the length. I, I felt the link. I heard people say that they didn't feel the link. Right. I all, felt all, it. all I could think of was people who have said they've already seen this movie multiple times, <laughs> and I thought, "Holy shit!" I can't imagine. Like, wow, that's this props is similar. To you. <laughs> like this movie's like I said, very dark. It's similar to the way I felt when I walked out of the Joker. Like I couldn't imagine going back and watching the Joker again. Yeah. Um, like that movie had to had to sit with me a little bit, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's there's no way. There's no reason this movie should have been three hours long. But um, so like, what like, are your what are your final thoughts? Like, I still got a lot to process <laughs> here. I feel like my rating could change. As of right now, this is a very good movie. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll say it's a very good movie. Mm -hmm. I can totally see why people would say this is their favorite Batman. This is their favorite uh, portrayal of Batman. Like, I get it. If if people say that for me, it's not my favorite Batman movie. It's not my favorite Batman. Yeah. Um, but I can see why people would say that. I think, like I said, it's a very good movie right now. I'll give it a, I'm feeling a four, out, a four out of a five. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's a good movie. There's some really great moments in this film. Um, and it is, if you've been wanting to see Batman do detective work your whole life, he, he detects the hell out of everything in this movie. Mm -hmm. He is the world's greatest detective. I really liked how they, the, his relationship with Jim Gordon in this movie, because I don't feel like they go into that a whole lot mm -hmm. in any of the other movies other than them meeting on the rooftop, but they're kind of working together. Kind of right. like a, almost like a buddy cop uh, situation, but yeah, um, I, yeah, I, I really liked it. Yeah. I really liked it. I don't know if I love it. Maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe it'll go down next time I watch it. I don't know. But that's my final thoughts right now. Yeah, I mean, um, I hate to agree with you and just say what you said. Um, but I think a four out of five is fair. Um, 
you know, it, it is a good movie. Like, I can't say that it's trash or anything. Very well made. I mean, yeah, I mean Matt it, Reeves did an excellent job with this movie. Right. So, it, you know, I think a four out of five is fair. I, I would agree. Um, it's a film lover's dream. It's I just, think. It's just uh, you know, definitely not... It's still not for me though. So if I if I rated it based on you know like my personal give it, give it your personal score. What would you give it? I you don't, mean, you don't want to give it a four. I don't know. I mean, probably a three out of five, maybe a three point five out of five. I okay. just uh, it was a lot of movie for me. So it's a whole lot of movie. Yeah. It's a whole lot of depressing, grim, dark. Yeah, and I'm just not deeply a, I'm not disturbing a fan of that. in some sequences. Paul Dano as a ruler, I will say I didn't like him as much as I was hoping to. Mm. There were some moments where he's doing the little cell phone Instagram lives, yeah. and I thought he was a little bit over dramatic, just a little bit. Yeah, for my personal taste. But at the end of the day, it was good. I like Colin Farrell as Penguin. I could definitely see some potential there if they want to bring him back. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you know, the way that they it left him, it. So. Um, I thought he was really good. Uh, Zoe Kravitz, Catwoman was really good. Um, and yeah, yeah. I think that's Andy gonna, Serkis gonna as, uh, as Alfred was good. I liked all that stuff. So yeah, we're done. We're done talking about the Batman I'm, for I'm now. I'm more out just <laughs> thinking about it. Whew. Yeah, uh, we're done talking about the Batman. If we have any other thoughts, you know, we'll get back to you in a few months. Maybe I'll <laughs> get my thoughts when the 4K comes out and I rewatch it. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you all later. Bye-bye.